Black Friday here in the States, and let's be honest, it's like an entire weekend event now, so there are a ton of games currently on sale, but which Xbox game should you actually check out? Let's find out. Hey, I'm Sam with Busy Dad Gaming. I help busy dads figure out what Xbox games to play so they can relax and go back to their families recharged. Now, Black Friday is upon us with Cyber Monday being a fast follow, and this is the time of year to really go and grab those games that have been sitting on your wish list for a while. Even better is some of those games that have only been out for a few weeks are already being discounted. So which one should you actually check out this weekend? So to start, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a few different websites. So things like GameStop, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, Microsoft Store a little bit, and then Amazon, which is kind of like a hit or miss right now. But something to keep in mind is the prices are subject to change at any time over the course of this weekend. So just keep that in mind is depending on what I'm talking about in relation to what you go and look at, it could be different. And then also I'm not differentiating between physical and digital. That's just something to also keep in mind, but I'll call it out as much as humanly possible as we go through these different websites. Okay, so first up is GameStop. So let's go ahead and dive into the PC here. And we're gonna be looking at a few different ones here. So the first one we're looking at is yeah, Far, uh, Far Cry 6, which is currently just under 35 bucks uh, USD. And this, these are all prices will be in USD just for a frame of reference. But uh, Far Cry 6 is currently discounted. Again, recent release. You also have Guardians of the Galaxy currently being discounted to $26.99, which is pretty freaking awesome. You also have uh, Madden that has been discounted. You're looking at $26 on that one there. Uh, and you're also looking at uh, Resident Evil Village is uh, 20 bucks. So again, a lot of these are really being heavily discounted to, you know, spur people to get go in, buy these games, start playing them. So you're going to see a lot of great uh, deals going on right now. Um, a couple other ones to keep in mind here. You have Hitman 3, fantastic game. Thoroughly enjoying that one. That one's at 20 bucks. Um, you're also looking at, if you're a sports fan, NBA 2K 22, you're looking at 26 bucks on that one. Um, if you're a fighting fan and you haven't grabbed Mortal Kombat 11 yet, this is the ultimate version. So that one's sitting at 20 bucks. And then you also have FIFA 22, which that one's currently $35. And that one is the Series X version. So that one actually has the enhanced uh, motions for it. So the people, it's no longer animations crashing into each other. It's trying to be more fluid in their animation. So looks kind of cool when I was uh, toying around with the 10 hour uh, uh, trial for it, but overall your mileage may vary on that one. Those are some of the, the good ones that I saw on GameStop. So again, something to check out. So next up, let's go ahead and check out Best Buy. All right, so diving into Best Buy's website currently, again, Far Cry 6, you're just looking at 40 bucks here. So it was actually a little bit better over at GameStop. So these are something that you're gonna wanna keep in mind is the prices will vary depending on which outlet you're going through and some may have better offers than others. So again, your mileage may vary, but just check out the different websites as you're going through it. Uh, you're also looking at uh, Best Buy, um, scrolling down here, you have Gardens of the Galaxy. Again, you know, you're looking at 30 bucks there. Um, again, GameStop had a, a slightly better uh, offer there. And then uh, uh, Valhalla, if you haven't managed to pick that one up yet, you're looking at 20 bucks. Uh, scrolling, 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 I mean, Best Buy hasn't had some of the, the better options here, uh, personally. Um, you're looking at Hitman 3 is 20 bucks here, and that one is only, uh, looks like in store, so they're not doing that one particularly online. So again, something to keep in mind. Uh, Mortal Kombat, you're looking at 30 bucks. So slightly better uh, than, or better over at GameStop. So uh, Best Buy didn't have as many good deals uh, this year when it came to Black Friday, when it came to the games. Uh, so that's something just to keep in mind as you're going through this. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and dive into Walmart. And Walmart is kind of all over the place here. So some of the ones that I noticed here is you have Madden. So again, different versions. Uh, again, you're looking at 26 bucks. So you're looking at Walmart and GameStop has some of the better prices when it came to games overall and their Black Friday deals. But uh, you have that. You also had NBA, NBA 2K22, which is sitting at 22 bucks or 26 bucks, excuse me. Um, Writers Republic, if that's something that interests you, that's also on discount down to $25 at Walmart. Uh, Call of Duty is already being discounted to $39, so take that as you may. I actually picked it up on PC because I got kind of bored waiting uh, for uh, Halo to drop, and I don't even think I made it to level 20 yet, and there's quite a few issues on that one, but maybe I'll get around to doing an impressions uh, sometime this decade. 
Uh, you're also looking at, uh, again, Far Cry 6. You're looking at $35 here at uh, Walmart. So again, pricing is kind of all over the place. You had FIFA at 26, so that's kind of in line with other uh, outlets. Uh, Outriders currently down to $20. If you don't have Game Pass for whatever reason, you can pick it up there. Um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, you're looking at 20 bucks for uh, one and two for that remaster. Actually a pretty decent remaster. I had a lot of fun playing that. So overall, Walmart uh, has some you know decent deals. I, I wouldn't say they're better than GameStops uh, presently, but they do have some uh, decent offerings if you go through Walmart. Uh, next up we're going to be looking at is Target. So Target is kind of uh, middle of the, the range when it came to a lot of the stuff that they're going through. So uh, again, you're looking at uh, pricing for Man 22 is between 30 and 45 depending on which version you get. And this is going, let me click into it just to show you. So you're looking at either digital or physical. So if you go to digital, then it goes to 45. If it's physical, then it's 30. So you'll actually get a better uh, price elsewhere if you're going uh, digital, but it at least gives you the option there. Uh, you're also looking at with Target, you have, uh, let's see, Jedi Fallen Order. If you haven't picked that one up yet, great game. You're only looking at 15 bucks there. Um, Hitman 3, again, 20 bucks. So um, same thing with Resident Evil Village here. You're looking at, again, physicals 20, digital, full price. These are just some of the things that you're going to need to keep in mind as you're going through some of these, especially if you're going through some of these retail outlets. They're offering both physical and digital, and the prices aren't always the same. So make sure to double check depending on what version you're going after. Um, so those are some of the ones I noticed at Target. Um, again, not as robust as uh, some of the other offerings, but it does have some pretty decent deals in there. Uh, next up we're going to go into is the Microsoft Store. Now, some of these prices were okay and some of them uh, not so okay. So it kind of depends on what you're looking at here. But something to keep in mind when it came to uh, Microsoft Store is they have over a thousand games currently discounted. These are all digital versions. So something to keep in mind. But some of the, the notables here is uh, Far Cry 6, you know, down to $40, not quite as good as uh, some other outlets. GameStop is still doing better than that. Uh, even Best Buy is a little bit better. Um, you also have uh, FIFA 22, and that's $35.99. And that's the Series X version, just to be clear. It's not the Xbox One version. So they are two different versions. And depending on which one you get, we'll either have, I think they call it ProMotion or something like that. But again, just keep them, uh, keep in mind there. NBA 2K22 is uh, sitting at $30. Uh, you also have Guardians of the Galaxy sitting at $38.99. And Resident Evil Village at $29.99. So again, not as good as GameStop, but it's again, whether you're looking at physical or digital, these are some of the things that you're gonna be looking at. Um, some of the other things that you're gonna be looking is Tales of Arise. That's one I'm currently kind of on the fence for. It's $41.99 and that's one of the better prices I've seen for that particular game so far. So, uh, it's in my wish list so far. I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but we'll see. Uh, let's see, some of these other games you're getting into uh, Elder Scrolls Online Collection, the, the Blackwood Edition. So that's currently discounted down to $26.39. So a pretty decent deal there. Uh, you also have uh, The Phantom Pain, Metal Gear Solid 5, 6 bucks if you haven't managed to play that one yet. Really enjoyable game. Storyline's kind of all over the place as you would come to expect from a Metal Gear Solid game. But overall, really enjoyable game. And for 6 bucks, you can't go wrong with it. I don't know if it's still on, on Game Pass or not. That's something I'd have to double check, but six bucks regardless, great deal there. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, you're looking at 20 bucks there. Uh, you're also looking at, um, there was one a little further down that I ended up noticing. I don't know if it's on this list, let's see. Uh, here it is, Assassin's Creed Bundle. So you're getting Origin, uh, Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla, and you're looking at only at 48 bucks for all three games. And, if you haven't played any of those uh, recent games, definitely suggest checking them out. They, you can sink a ton of time into those things. Even the, the main story campaigns are gonna still run you like 30 to 40 hours. And some of it is filler, let's be honest. The story isn't uh, the tightest thing it could possibly be from a, a, an Ubisoft game, but for 48 bucks for all three of those games, definitely a great uh, value, I would say there. Uh, last up, let's go ahead and take a look at Amazon. And Amazon's kind of uh, a hot mess when it comes to 
uh, the overall selection that they're doing. So Amazon has a tendency to do um, uh, deals and those particular deals end up going across the multiple days and they end up doing, um, you know, like lightning deals or deals of the day, you know, things of that nature. And sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. It just depends. So like right now you're looking at uh, Far Cry is kind of all over the place. Uh, Forza, uh, you also have uh, Gears Tactics and nothing from a, an Xbox perspective too much that I've seen so far. Um, nothing that I would really call out. But uh, Amazon is more of, you can go and look uh, what deals are coming out uh, down the road and see if there's anything that uh, really fits what you're doing there. But um, for this Black Friday, from a Xbox perspective, I haven't seen too much for Amazon, so I personally wouldn't spend too much time on that deal, but uh, it could happen. They do uh, drop a lot of deals kind of at random, so that's just something to keep in mind. Games this year are just on crazy discounts, and even if they've barely come out over the last three months, they're still seeing some pretty heavy discounts. So I went ahead and grabbed Far Cry 6, Guardians of the Galaxy. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier, I'm still kind of debating Tales of Arise. We'll see if I actually pull the trigger on that one or not. But I also picked up some accessories during Black Friday. So I was able to snag the Elite Series 2 controller and then also picked up the Astro A40TR headset that came with the Mix Amp. So expect to see some impressions of that coming up over the next few weeks. If you're unsure of what console to get for the games that you're actually considering, Make sure to click on the playlist going over which console is going to make the most sense for you, and I'll see you out there.